you found Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. In today's video, I'm doing a request from one of my subscribers. Uh, I was asked to show how I prepare my char griller acorn for a low and slow cook using B&B lump charcoal. Okay, let's get to work. Let me start this by pointing out that I use a Fireboard 2 Pro controller. You don't have to use a controller, but it gives you more control and more freedom because the Fireboard app, it's internet based and you can control everything from your phone just about wherever you are. I recommend that you consider getting a controller, but I'm really not telling you to get the Fireboard 2 Pro. I've had some probe issues with it, but you can check this out in this video where I cover my issues with the Fireboard 2 Pro. And I'm also not telling you not to buy it, but there's a lot of cheaper alternatives. The Fireboard 2 is a premium unit and it's expensive. I love it, but at the same time, it's not perfect. This is not a commonly used method for fire management that I'm gonna show you. Most people light off the whole stack, and but I like doing it my way because you have greater control and longer burn times. And so we're gonna start with an empty charcoal grate and an empty ash pan. Everything should be clean from the last cook. And by clean, I mean that it's ready to use. Stack your charcoal directly across from your fan, just right straight across. You have to make a judgment call on how many pounds of charcoal that it's gonna take because the cooking temperature depends on what and how much you're gonna cook. And are you using a water pan? Are you gonna be spritzing or basting? How many times are you gonna open the lid? All these things add up to additional cook time. So we're gonna start by turning on the controller, and then you're gonna plug in the fan, get your temperature probe ready to go. I set the controller in automatic mode at our chosen temperature, and the fan should be running at this point. The top vent should be open anywhere from a quarter to a half inch, and the temperature probe is extended through the top vent, and we'll hook it up after we get the charcoal lit. I like to light my charcoal with the Benzomatic propane torch. I like the front edge of the charcoal stack with the torch, and I give it two minutes time while I'm actually doing the lighting, but I'm only lighting the leading edge, and so I get a control burn with maximum efficiency. I have the ceramic uh, smoking stone, and this is a recommended accessory, and now's the time to put that in place. And I also like to put a low profile pan that I have covered in foil on top of that cooking stone. The pan helps to keep the acorn clean and the foils makes for easy cleanup. And a large pan also helps provide you with more indirect heat. Now's the time to clip the temperature probe to the grate. It's always a good idea to spray your grill grate with the cooking spray of your choice. You close the lid and then you can watch your temperature increase. The fan regulates the temperature and as the temperature rises, then you can make adjustments to the top vent. So we started with it open about a half inch and when we finish, it's gonna be completely closed. Each section of that vent, every little pie section, it has a notch and that's where we run our temperature cable. It's in that notch. And this notch is usually all it takes to maintain the temperature once you've reached that temperature. So when you reach your desired tip, then you start your cook. With that, that's all there is to it. I appreciate you watching, and I hope you hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing. And I hope to see you next time at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue.